Hi, welcome to our special holiday episode. So what are we about to do? Well, I don't know about you, but I just ate a ton of food at Thanksgiving, and I'm stuffed. Stuffed, stuffed, stuffed. I thought the turkey was stuffed. Ah. Boom, boom. What is your favorite thing to eat at Thanksgiving? Well, I really like turkey. I know that's not exciting, but that's I like boring. it. That's <laughs> boring. Try again. Well, you know, we make rice dressing at our house, and I like that too. Mm. And I like cornbread dressing. Yeah. I like green bean casserole. I'm Do I get to keep talking? a sucker for green bean casserole. I always <laughs> want to make it at other times of the year, but it just feels wrong. It doesn't taste as good. You can buy all the ingredients at the store the whole year. Did you know that? Did you know? But it never tastes as good as it tastes on There's Thanksgiving. There's something special about just eating it with all of your relatives and your friends and family and just... And I think it might be made with just a tiny bit more love at Thanksgiving. I think that's definitely true. I think that's true. it. But wait, aren't we going to worship first? I think we should worship first. I think we need a song. a gift from a friend and you forgot to tell them thank you I know I've done it and it's it's a little embarrassing how do you think that made them feel they went to the store they picked out a present they paid for it and then they wrapped it all up nice for you and you opened it and you loved it and then you just walked away it's kind of a bummer but it happens all the time let's try to think of some ways that we could do that differently Let's hear a story about thankfulness and let's learn what Jesus says about saying thank you. Stories of the Bible. The Thankful Leper. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things while he was on earth. It's true. One day, he was traveling to Jerusalem and was going through a village when ten men who had leprosy came to him. 
Now, in the time Jesus lived, leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived. They were called unclean, and no one wanted to be close to them. Ha! <laughs> Gross! But when these men who had leprosy saw Jesus coming, Hey, Jesus! They called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them and said, Go show yourself to the priests. Oh, yeah, we in that. And as they went, they were healed and had leprosy no more. Whoa, woohoo! When one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, Praise God! Oh, yeah, praise God! He thanked Jesus for what he had done. Aww. Hmm. Jesus asked, didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Looks like it. Then Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Thank you. And so the man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Why do you think it's so difficult for us to just remember every day to be thankful? I think a lot of times we're thankful for big things, like if somebody's been sick and they get better, or maybe you pray really hard to get a good grade on a test, or maybe you pray about something that you wish for your birthday, or I don't know, something. But we really need to be thankful every day because Without the breath in our body and the love of Jesus in our heart, I don't know how anybody manages. There's just so much going on in the world, but we need to be thankful for even little things like food to eat, a good school to go to, friends that love you and hang out with you and want to spend time with you, and family members and just community. There's just so many things to be thankful for. And even sometimes it's something so small as like maybe your favorite pencil. I have a favorite pen. Well, actually, I bought about six of them, so I don't lose them. But I have a favorite pen because it writes purple, and it's, well, you kind of get the point. So I just want to be thankful every day I wake up. I want to be thankful for everything that God's done for me, my family. I love my church. I love my job. I love my friends. And we just need to thank him even for the little things. So just like this guy didn't, only one guy came back, and the rest didn't come back and say thank you, we need to always be the one that is thankful. All right, friends, I know y'all have been out of school for a while, so maybe you forget what a piece of paper and a pencil looks like. But I want you to remember, and I want you to go grab that. All right, take a second, pause the video if you need to, but go get those things, because we've got something important for you to do, okay? I'll wait. Okay, did you get it? Okay, so what I want you to do is for however old you are, I want you to make a list and number it. So if you're seven years old, I want you to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're older than that, write one all the way through how old you are. What I want you to do, if you're my, older, my your list be, will be longer. My really will be long. But that's okay. So okay, I have more see, to be See, the thing for. is, we have so much to be thankful for. Yes, and the are. older we get, the more we recognize that we, what we have. So what I want you to do at home is to take a list of everything that you're grateful for. It could be, I'm grateful for my puppy. I'm grateful for my bed. I'm grateful for the cookies my mom made today. I'm grateful that I got to hug my baby sister. It could be any of those things. It could be big things. It could be little things. It could be, it doesn't matter. The point is we want to teach ourselves to look for things to be grateful for and to be thankful and to say thank you to Jesus for all of these blessings. Um, I think it's super important. And this yes. is something that's super simple that you can do every single day. Every single day you could think of several things that you're thankful for. Absolutely. It just helps keep us kind of in what we call a thankful mode or mm -hmm. walking in thankfulness. Because I think one of the reasons that we forget to be thankful to the Lord is because we don't see Him. Yeah. It's like I can see you. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for all kinds of things. But because we don't see God with our physical eyes, sometimes I think it's easy to forget to be thankful. 
Yeah. Oh wait, don't we have a verse this week? We do have a okay, verse. Okay, you're gonna share that so with us? So this me? week, um, the verse I actually selected just talks about how when um, how these guys were healed and what Jesus did for them. Um, so the verse is Luke 17, 14. When he saw them, Jesus said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. And I picked this verse because I wanted to remember what Jesus did. And that's what that list helps us to do is to remember what Jesus did so that we can be thankful. Because when we remember what Jesus did, we remember the testimony of what he, how he healed us, what he gave us and what he did on the cross, then we can be thankful. You're absolutely right. Yeah. One of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that we don't forget to be thankful this week. Yeah. Actually, I don't want to forget to be thankful this entire holiday season. Absolutely. That's a good point. Yeah. So, did you know that Advent has started? Did you know that? <laughs> so, I know we just celebrated Thanksgiving, but now something bigger is here. We're moving toward... Christmas, you guys! We're so, celebrate, we're so excited to celebrate Advent with you. We've got so much more to come. Have a good week. Bye.